I discovered the taste of passion fruit a few years ago on a trip to Puerto Rico. And when I found out I could grow it in my own yard, I was super excited. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and welcome back to my meadow. In this video, I am going to share with you some of the things I've learned about growing passion fruit so far and the temporary trellis we've set up in hopes of having some passion fruit this year and getting the plants established and ready for their permanent home next year. On our trip to Puerto Rico, we had these lovely cocktails made with passion fruit on our tour of the Bacardi plant and they were fantastic. So lovely, in fact, we started looking for passion fruit in our local grocery stores and we found it. But then I discovered that we could grow it ourselves and I was like, oh, we need to do that. In fact, I had tried to grow passion vine before. I didn't realize or connect that the passion vine that I wanted to support the Gulf fritillary butterflies or zebra longwing butterflies was actually the passion fruit vine that gives you this delicious tasting fruit. Now, it's not a big fruit and there's not a whole lot in one fruit, but how prolific the passion fruit vines are, that just doesn't matter if you give them enough room to grow. Now, apparently other people have grown up with this growing in the wild. It's often called Maypop and it is throughout the Southeast. Growing up as a city girl, I never saw any Maypop. I never saw these wild things that just grow. And now that I have my own little garden, I'm excited to get things growing. Last year at my little local nursery up on the corner, I asked for the passion flower vine and they didn't have any, but she put my name on a list. And so I waited excitedly and started making plans for this trellis. We were going to do six posts and then put a cattle panel on the top of the post so that the passion flower would have plenty of room to roam. It would be easy for the passion fruit to drop through and for us to pick. Well, the plants never came in until the week or so before my shoulder surgery. And when they called and said, do you still want these? I was like, uh, yes, I still want those. So I brought them home and then I potted them up in these grow bags and sort of tossed them over into my storage area that's over in the south garden. We had some tarps and plastic over the soil that we had brought in for other projects. And I thought if nothing else, at least they're gonna get full sun and start to vine up. And we had some cattle panels that were leaning up over there for future projects. Well, when I looked this weekend, it turned out that the passion fruit indeed was working on the cattle panel, but it had made its way up and over the neighbor's fence. Well. I don't want to be fighting with passion fruit going over into the neighbor's yard. I don't want to create any problems in their yard. I want to be a good neighbor. So I had to start thinking about how I could do this differently because I do want the passion fruit to grow, but I'm in no condition to build a big trellis at this time. And I still have soil laying over there that I want to use for other projects around the garden. So I concocted a plan and my wife helped me out. And we're gonna take a look at how we went from just having them in the grow bags to having them on their own trellis with the cattle panels. Let's take a look. In this area, there's soil underneath these tarps. And what we did, well, what my wife did is scrape the dirt back so we could create some hills around the edge of the grow bags and let them sit in a lower zone. And the thought is, as the water runs down through this area, it will have a place to sort of hold up and stay underneath these pots. And what we've done is just take two cattle panels and create sort of an A-frame here. And they're just leaning on each other for support. The ground underneath is not perfectly level, but we've done our best. Then at the top, we've used zip ties to hold them together. And yes, we did actually place the pots underneath the cattle panels so that the vines could go up from any direction to hook on and grow up. 
and I'll still be able to get in there and water and when I need to and I thought that doing it underneath would allow the shade of the passion vine to actually shade the plants itself once it started covering the cattle panel. I will definitely do some updates to show you all how it's going once it's done. The last thing that I want to do for these passion vines is to add some mulch though around the top of this and in fact that's why I didn't put it the soil all the way to the top of these bags because I wanted to leave room for mulch. And like any good gardener, there's always one more project to do. And meantime, we keep the passion fine from being a bad neighbor and climbing across the fence. And I'm hoping in this setup it will give it plenty of room to run. I look forward to having passion vine running everywhere, supporting the butterflies and having some delicious passion fruit to eat and to use in lovely libations. So one of the questions you might wonder is, what about next year? Well, for now, this is good. In my zone, the passion fruit vine does die back in the freeze. And so it'll basically start over next year when it's time for new growth. So I don't have to worry about how I'm going to protect it over winter on this. And hopefully by next year, I'll be able to build that trellis that I really want to have. Do you all grow passion fruit? I'd love to hear your tips on other ways that I can take care of them and help them flourish here in our hot Florida weather. Though since they grow wild, I think they'll do pretty good if I don't mess with them too much. Thank you for watching. And if you like this content, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up. And if you want to follow along to the Passion Vine, please subscribe. And you can always click that bell notification and YouTube can let you know when we put out new content. Until next time, my friends, please drink plenty of water and wear your sunscreen. Have a fantastic day.